If you could change any choices you have ever made, would you? You can always make another choice and change the course of your success. Everyone has the potency to make inspired choices. Get ready to listen, share, and experience the creativity that is you. Now, here is the host of Inspired Choices Radio Show, Christine McIver. Welcome, everyone. I am Christine McIver, and I'm thrilled to have you here. Wherever you're watching, whether you're watching from our home streaming network, Inspired Choices Network, or if you're watching on Facebook, or on TikTok land. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome. Tonight, I've got another great show I'm excited to share with you. Tonight, we're talking about are you gambling with your business? This is a show that has been wanting to come through for some time. Business is absolutely the place where I love to play. And it's a definitely, you know, Many of our hosts, if you come here to Inspired Choices Network, you will hear many of our hosts talk about how life or how our shows really mimic into what's going on in our life and how our life unfolds for us. And this is what we bring to the table. You know, some of the greatest coaches, some of the greatest speakers in the world have actually lived the path before they actually bring it to you. And this is definitely something that is going on for me here in my life and in my business. And I'm thrilled to share my journey with you. And I'm thrilled to share what I've learned so that you can actually grow from what I've grown from. So my name is Christine McIver. I am an Inspired Choices Network host. I'm also the owner and founder of Inspired Choices Network. As well, I'm a systems and strategic business coach. I work one-on-one with business owners, often with entrepreneurs who are looking to start their business, to grow their business, and to expand their business so that they can create greater revenue. I also help mission-driven entrepreneurs struggling to scale their revenue and get in front of their ideal audiences. When they work with me, they discover how to quadruple their sales by dramatically growing their audience, going from the best-kept secret to a global authority without the confusion and tech overwhelm. And that's what we do here at Inspired Choices Network with our hosts. Now, if you'd like to move from the best kept secret to a global authority, go over to our website, inspiredchoicesnetwork.com, and you'll see on the right-hand side where you can actually register to receive a download of the seven myths or mistakes so that you can actually move into being a global authority. If you would like to connect with me directly, please feel free to find me on any of the social media platforms, or you can actually send me an email direct, Christine, at inspiredchoices.ca. I love to hear your comments, your questions. You can ask me anything about this show or any of the other shows, which there's well over 300 episodes that you can connect with. It's actually a free library of content, both with my content and with all of the other hosts here on the network. We have well over 6,000 hours of content. So there's never an excuse where you can learn and grow here with Inspired Choices Network. So let's get into tonight's show. I'm really looking forward to unpacking a lot of this with all of you, wherever you're joining from. And if you would like to join live and you would like to ask questions, you can do so at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com forward slash chat room. Just come on in there. You can also join us in the live recruit recording studio and our producers will direct you there you can also ask your questions there or you can ask them on facebook or on tiktok and i'd be happy to answer them for you so are you gambling with your business entrepreneurs make decisions and take risks in an effort to grow their business that's just what we do and how often does it feel like a gamble when you're making these decisions Do you know the difference between gambling with your business or investing in your business? When you understand what a true investment is with your time, your money, and your perspective, your risk risk is no longer a gamble. And that's really where I want to talk to you about tonight, is the difference between risk and gambling. Because You know, right away, as soon as I say the word gamble, every single solitary person will have 
a, a thought, a perspective around what that means, right? So let's look at, before we get anywhere into discussing this, let's talk, look at the original definition of those words. So the original definition word of gamble is risk something of value on a game of chance. Isn't that fabulous? On a game of chance. So how many of us are actually looking at our business and looking at the choices we're making as it's just a game of chance? Have you decided that your business, what you're doing in business, is actually you taking a chance? Now, if that is your perspective, I am absolutely positive you will be having a lot of anxiety, a lot of angst around your business if you're looking at it from that perspective. Or perhaps you're looking at it as a risky adventure. I remember when I first was talking about going into business, a lot of people used those words with me. That's pretty risky, Christine. Have you really thought about this? Is this something that you can really make money from? This is risky. You're risking yourself. What about all the money you put into your education? What about why aren't you doing that? So it's very interesting. Everyone has these fears. Everyone has these points of views in our minds. What it means to actually go into your own business, right away, there is a level of risk. Maybe it's um, very low, maybe it's quite high, but a lot of people have that straight out that they go into that um, idea around that. Now, if you've been in business or you've worked for organizations for any length of time, especially through, um, through difficult times financially, through the pandemic, there has been a great deal of change. There's always a great deal of change in business. It makes me laugh that today in 2022, that there are people that are still out there that say, I want to work for a company where I feel safe and I feel protected and where I can actually get a pension, which means in their mind's eye that they are going to work for an organization for many, many years, probably their entire lifetime, that they are going to be able to find a company where they feel safe and protected. Well, I hate to burst your bubble, but there is absolutely no company out there, absolutely no such thing, exactly as my producer says, no such thing. There is no company out there where you are going to be safe and protected. And as I was looking at going into my own business and starting my own business, I did that in um, 20, 2008. So I'm in the, my 14th year of business now. And when I started to look at that, I started to really think about where was the security? Where did I have security? And as I continued to break down the what ifs, what if this happened? What if that happened? As I continued to break that down, I really was honest with myself and, and I really did know that there was absolutely no security in any organization. There was risk saying yes to any organization to work for them. There was risk for any job. There's risk in any profession. There is no guarantees. There is one guarantee. There is only one guarantee. And that guarantee is with you. The guarantee that you are going to have your own back every single solitary day, that you're going to put your feet on the ground and you're going to get up and you're either going to go work for someone else and wait for that paycheck at the end of the week, or you're going to work for yourself and grow your business. That is the only guarantee in life is actually having your own back. So right away, I want to really put that whole idea of going into business as being risky or riskier than working from some for someone else i want to put that to rest because that is absolutely not true and in fact many many individuals many entrepreneurs 
they actually get inspired. They inspire themselves when they go into their own business because they will actually step up and they will give their own business more focus. They will give their own business more energy and more commitment. They have a very big point of view about giving their all to someone else. Now, I've always coached people um, when I was either in human resources or in my own business, when I'm coaching people individually, whether they work for someone else or not, is always act, always perform as though it is your own business. You have a different um, energy with it. You'll have a different energy with yourself throughout your day. And when you're giving your all commitment, it will come back to you, whether you're working for someone else or, or you're working for yourself. So let's just put that one to rest. There is absolutely no more risk in being in your own business than there is working for someone else because business is businesses go bankrupt without you even knowing it. I mean, at least if you're not doing great financially in your own business, you're aware of what's coming. And you also, as you continue to educate yourself, you also learn about, okay, I don't know this area of the business. I need to get some help. But you can be blindsided by working for someone else where just one day they call everybody in. I remember one of my very first jobs after graduating college I was working for the controller and this, I live in Canada and this company, the head office was in the States and they actually elected a new president for this company. And we got a phone call from our sister building where the, um, the factory actually was, we got a call from one of the, the uh, administrative assistants and said, Hey, the new president's here. And the, my controller, my boss, who was the controller, was furious because this new president didn't come to her immediately, which is usually the protocol. And um, this administrative assistant said he just called everybody to a meeting and told every single person that 80% of you will be terminated by the end of the day and we'll be calling you in one by one. And it was completely out of the blue. And in fact, he followed through on that promise. 80% of the people were laid off that day and walked out and didn't have a job. And there was no forewarning at all. So at least when you're in your own business, if you are setting up your business and you're getting support out there, you can forewarn, you can be forewarned yourself on where you need to adjust and grow and pivot your business. So right away, that whole idea of, you know, being in your own business is risky. Well, everything can have a level of risk. And how many of us don't love a little bit of risk? We don't love a little bit of excitement in our business. You know, the one of the biggest things that I want to really talk about tonight is how important it is for us to grow ourselves. If you want to grow your business and you want to grow the revenue of your business, you want to grow your authority in your business and in your community, you have to expand yourself. You have to go beyond where you've ever been before. And that does require a level of risk. It requires, requires a level of you not only taking a risk, but being willing to invest, being willing to invest in yourself and really looking at investment with the eyes of this is possible for me. If you desire to have something greater in your life than you've ever had before, whether you're in your own business or not, it requires you to do something different and it requires you to get really clear with yourself. And that's what we're going to be doing tonight. We're going to get very clear about what it is around gambling, what it really looks like to be gambling with your business or what it looks like to be investing with your business. And I do say with your business, not just in your business. There's a very, very big difference between the two. So we are up to our first break of the show. You're listening to Inspired Choices. I'm your host, Christine McIver. We are on the Inspired Choices Network. Again, I would love to have you come and join us. You can come on over to inspiredchoicesnetwork.com forward slash chat room. You can ask your questions here in the chat room. And you can always, if you are listening on demand, wherever you are listening to the replay, I would love you to put hashtag 
replay. And again, if you would like to connect with me, you can email me, Christine, at inspiredchoices.ca, and we can have a conversation about what's going on with you and your business. If you're at Facebook, we're going to be ending our Facebook, and you can come on over here to the network and join us live. So we will see you right after this commercial break. Stay tuned, everyone. Many of us make choices in our lives based on our past experiences or what others believe. What would our lives be like if we made our choices based on what we desire for our futures? When you join Inspired Choices Radio Show with coach Christine McIver, you'll be provoked to look at what is true and what you know but may not choose that requires your attention. Christine does not hold back and brings all her expertise during each and every show. Are you ready to create the life and the living you truly desire? Listen for Inspired Choices Radio Show every Wednesday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 7 p.m. Central, 6 p.m. Mountain, and 5 p.m. Pacific on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. Are you a subject matter expert? Are you here to share your expertise with an audience waiting to hear from you in only the way you can deliver? Are you ready to have your voice amplified across the airwaves? Inspired Choices Network has a global radio platform streaming to millions of people across the world. Professionally produced and supported by an accomplished team every step of the way, you can broadcast from anywhere in the world knowing your voice matters and we ensure it is delivered with ease and efficiency. Eager to hear your message, the world awaits. Contact us today to become an Inspired Choices Network radio host. Email become a host at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com. This is the Inspired Choices Show with Coach Christine McIver. To participate in the program, join our live studio audience in our chat room at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com. You can also make the choice to ask or comment by email by sending to christine at inspiredchoices.ca. Now, back to the program. Welcome back, everyone. I am Christine McIver. I'm the host of the Inspired Choices Show, and I am the CEO of the Inspired Choices Network. And tonight we're talking about gambling. Do you gamble with your business? Are you gambling with what you desire in business, or are you gambling with what you think you should be doing in business? These are questions that, you know, oftentimes will come to mind with an entrepreneur when I'm working with um, my entrepreneurs, I'm talking to them about what they desire and then what we need to do to get them there. And oftentimes they're talking about, they feel like it's too risky or that it's too much of a gamble. And this is, before we went to break, I was really talking about, you know, first of all, the, the definition of gambling. And I really wanted everyone to, to think about what, what that means, what it really means to, it's to take a chance. And if you're in your own business, I want you to get really clear about one thing. And the one thing is, is that you are worth taking a gamble on. If you are determined to be happy in your life and to be successful, you are worth the gamble. And you're not just a chance. You are something solid. You have a solid idea. You know what you want to do. And you're willing to get up every day and do it. That is not a gamble. That is actually your very first investment in your business. And that's something that we have to get clear in our mind. One of the greatest things that we do, and one of the greatest harms that we do to ourselves, is we judge ourselves is that we are not enough, that we are not able to actually bring what we require to the table. Well, I'll tell you something, you may not have all of the knowledge but having the determination and having the willingness to step up every single day and do what's required, that is worth 95% of what it takes to be successful in business. I'm going to repeat myself. Having the determination and the willingness to have your back, that is worth 95% of what it takes to be successful in business. 
There's not one entrepreneur out there. There's no businesses out there that knew everything they needed to know before they took that first step. There's not one. Every single one of us, every single entrepreneur that you see that you believe is successful or I'd like to be like them, they have been learning as they go along. And so can you. And that's what I really want you to get solid about tonight is to know that you are solid when you're willing to do what it takes. Now, there are some days, and I'll admit this happens to me all the time, as I am growing myself, sometimes it's so overwhelming. Sometimes it's so hard and it feels so, so difficult to take that next step that you might end up feeling very upset, very depressed. Maybe you just feel like you're failing but you take that step, you put your hand up and you say, I need some help. I need someone to support me through this next stage. I need to talk to someone who has the ability to move me through. I have a coach. I have actually a number of people that I consider coaches in my life that I go to that support me. And that's one of the best investments that you can make in your life is to have people there who have your back, who have the knowledge of how to do what it is that you want to do, or that will be there to support you, even if they don't know exactly what to do. So the next word that I want to get the definition of, and then we're going to dive a little more in, is investment. So the act of putting on vestments is the original definition of the word investment. It's the act of being invested with an office, a right, or an endowment. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and it's surrounding yourself and investing money or capital. But there's another investment that we have in our business. Excuse me one second. There's another investment that we have, and that's ourselves. What are you investing with yourself in your business? If you have an opportunity that comes your way, or you're looking to really add something to your business or to learn something new or to hire someone, even if you're thinking about hiring a coach, right? A lot of people will look at the financial amount. That's where we go first. And we, we evaluate the choice based on the money. Well, I'm telling you right now that that is, should not be the first place that we look. Most of us do. Most of us look there. And the reason that we look there first is because we're scared. We're scared that if we take that kind of money, that it's going to hurt us. But a true investor, a true person with an investment mindset, which we all can use, a true person with an investment mindset is looking at the ROI, the return on the investment. They're not looking initially at the amount of money that it's going to take, right? If you are going out to buy a car, you are not just looking at the, the sticker price, right? You're looking at what is this vehicle going to give me? What is this that I'm desiring? What do I desire in a car? If you desire in a car that it's as cheap as hell, well, you're going to go find something that is cheap as hell. But if you desire something in a car that is sturdy, that is reliable, that, you know, can get really good mileage um, to the gallon, that is um, the safety factors, the size, how much storage it has. If you're looking at all of these aspects, you go and you, you gather the, the information on the vehicles that will give you what you desire. and then. The financial investment comes after the fact. We have got to stop being a sticker society because we are ripping ourselves off from what a true investment in our businesses can be. We're missing out on the opportunities. We're allowing the money to hold us back from creating more success. 
And most people that I talk to that are in business, right, they're looking at what they desire to acquire in business is more financial security, more financial abundance, more financial money flows. But the first thing that they're doing is they're instead of looking at the ROI of what they're going to get, they are looking at what it's going to cost them. Well, here's an old statement that you've probably heard if you've been in business for a while is what is it costing you if you don't do this? If you are attracted to something, if you're attracted to a coach, if you're attracted to a program, if you're attracted to a a piece of equipment, if you're attracted to a source that is going to help you grow your business and move you in the direction of where you say you want to go from a success perspective, are you willing to look at the return on the investment or are you only willing to grow as much as you're willing to invest financially. If that's as far as you're willing to go, you're not going to go beyond where you are today. Do you understand that? If you're not willing to invest more, like to a level that feels risky to you, that feels uncomfortable to you. You know, when we're uncomfortable, when something is tight, we want to move beyond that right? Well, what if instead of looking at it as a risk, that you are looking at it as something that's going to be more, that's going to grow you, that is going to be uncomfortable, yes, in order to move you to the next place, right? We have either risk, failure, fear mindsets, or we have growing success investment mindsets. And we can pivot between those two mindsets over and over again. It's extremely important that we understand that at any time when the fear and the risk mindset comes up, that is a program that was put into you by some source, whether it's your parents, society around you, your community, your schools, someone that you know, that you believed in, that has given you um, valuable information in the past that made you feel good and supported. But if someone is speaking to you and their mindset has been about, this is risky, this is risky, you now have a mindset that is actually holding you back. And here's the thing, when we are operating from worry and fear, and this is too risky, we are operating from the belief system that there is lack in the world. That if you step forward and you take this risk, there is room for failure. Failure is a mindset a mindset that you can absolutely change. Um, (laughs) Okay, there's something here. If you're not willing to invest to a level where you're uncomfortable, how are you going to grow and move to the next place? Yes. (laughs) Sorry, reading the chat room, lots going on here. It's great. It's so important that we understand our mindset, the way that we think, When we are making, (laughs) that was my quote, Ah, that's funny. When we are making these evaluations, the mindset that we are in is going to absolutely dictate our level of success. Now, if you are in a place of fear, your mind 99.9% of the time cannot actually understand all that is going on with this possible choice. Your mind does not have either something to refer to, it has nothing from the past to refer to, and or it does not have enough information. Oftentimes we believe that we are gambling, it's a gamble to do something because we don't have all of the information, all right? To make an investment, is to actually gather all of the information and look at what it is that we are going to be investing in and what we are actually going to be getting a return on. 
If you ever, if you're in your own business and you actually, at the very beginning of going into your own business, if you ever reached out to someone and you started to share with someone, this is what most people do is they get really excited and they go out and they start to share with a family member, how excited they are. I'm going to start my own business. I'm going to do this. And immediately, because these people love you and they want to protect you, they immediately try to shut it down because they want to keep you safe. They want to keep you safe. And they believe the best way to keep you safe is to keep you in a low risk, don't change, keep it steady going on place. But guess what? As a human being, your desires are constantly growing. You are constantly having more and more desires. That is your normal state. That's all of our normal states of being. We always have more and more desires. And if you're not expanding yourself, you can very easily go into boredom, which can then start to bring you down the emotional scale into depression. This is, it doesn't mean that you have to be jumping out of airplanes every day or doing really wild things that everybody thinks is super risky. By the way, I've jumped out of an airplane, not as risky as you think. Um, But it does mean that you need to be aware that you want to keep your life in increasingly interesting, that you want to keep stretching yourself. You want to keep trying new things and have some kind of adventure in your life and in your business or career. That way you're going to stay engaged. And when you're engaged, you are going to be firing the neurons in your brain that is actually going to be contributing to having greater joy and success in your life. All right, we are up to our second break of the show. You're listening to Inspired Choices. I'm your host, Christine McIver. If you are listening on any of the platforms and you'd like to come ask some questions, come on over to inspiredchoicesnetwork.com forward slash chat room, or you can be wherever you're at. You can, if you're on TikTok, please post a question. I'd love to answer your questions. And if you're listening in the replay, I would love to hear from you. Send me an email, christine at inspiredchoices.ca. And let's talk about what's going on in your business and how we can move you from the gambling mindset to the investment mindset. We'll be right back after this break. Many of us make choices in our lives based on our past experiences or what others believe. What would our lives be like if we made our choices based on what we desire for our futures? When you join Inspired Choices Radio Show with coach Christine McIver, you'll be provoked to look at what is true and what you know but may not choose that requires your attention. Christine does not hold back and brings all her expertise during each and every show. Are you ready to create the life and the living you truly desire? Listen for Inspired Choices Radio Show every Wednesday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 7 p.m. Central, 6 p.m. Mountain, and 5 p.m. Pacific on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. How wonderful would it be to carry your favorite Inspired Choices Network host with you throughout your day? Well, now you can. Inspired Choices Network now has its very own mobile app. Our free app offers live streaming shows along with thousands of podcasts and TV episodes. Our shows cover a wide variety of topics. Whether you're waking up with us, carrying us through the day, and taking us to bed with you, we're always here for you to enjoy. We're easy to find. Just search for Inspired Choices Network in the Apple App Store or Google Play Store. This is the Inspired Choices Show with Coach Christine McIver. To participate in the program, join our live studio audience in our chat room at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com. You can also make the choice to ask or comment by email by sending to christine at inspiredchoices.ca. Now, back to the program. Welcome back, everybody. Yes, I am your host, Christine McIver, and we are on the Inspired Choices Network. My show is Inspired Choices. I've been doing this show now since, oh my gosh, 
I'm in my 11th year of doing this show. And I've had so much fun talking about all sorts of subjects. And one of my favorite subjects is business. I love to talk about business. I love to support entrepreneurs in business. And if you have any questions about going into business or something that's happening in your business, shoot me an email. I'd love to support you and send you some information. And if you're looking for a coach who's willing to challenge you and to guide you and make changes quickly to up your revenue in your business, I'm your girl. Absolutely. I love to work with entrepreneurs and I've worked with hundreds of entrepreneurs over the years who absolutely have expanded their business and are thriving today. So tonight we're talking all about, are you gambling with your business? Well, here's something that I really want you to understand. If you are not getting uncomfortable and taking steps forward in ways that you've never taken before, i.e. possibly what you would say risky, if you're not, then you are gambling with your business. If you believe that your business in 2022, that you can do the same thing day in and day out, and that you don't need to change, well, you're living under a rock. You absolutely are. What, you know, many, many years ago, my father, he was in his own business. He started his own business um, two years before I was born, and he was in his own business for more than 30 years. And the man did really, really well. When he was um, a farmer, he was in his own business prior to the construction business. You know, he was doing great. You know, mom and dad had a lot of kids. I'm actually the ninth of 10 children. Um, They fed us, they clothed us, they took care of us. You know, everything was always, they were always doing well and they were growing their financial business and, and they were really doing well. And then something happened with the financial market with with the dairy cattles and and the dairy industry and they lost everything right yeah it was a risk it was a risk now did they learn a lot did they grow did it feed their family while they were going along yeah so is it deemed a failure when a business has to close when there is financial impact in a way such as that Well, first of all, there's risk in anything. There's risk in waking up every day. You might fall and break your neck. You know, (laughs) there's risk everywhere. You can look at things with the risk mindset, with the worry mindset, or you can look at it as an opportunity. And if you're going to be on your own business and you've got this continuous nagging of risk mindset, you need to get support to change that. You really absolutely need to be deprogrammed so that you can see business and the opportunities in business in a whole new way. So, you know, my my mom and dad, they were farmers and then they went on and dad started this construction business and he did exceptionally well. Like there were times when things were difficult. There were times when there were vehicle accidents, you know, they worked on the highways. There were times when, you know, maybe they lost a job to somebody else. There, there were, there was always ups and downs, but what I do know, absolutely, even from being a young, young child is that they were always moving forward. They were always growing and moving forward. And, and, you know, my father absolutely had the mindset of anything is possible. He knew that he could make things happen. He absolutely knew that he had the ability to learn what he needed to learn in order to move this business forward. And he did so well that he trained lots of other people. He he helped a lot of other people start their own businesses and he taught them what they needed to do. And when my dad didn't understand what he needed to do, he went out and he hired a resource to support him to teach him how to do something, right? That's what we all need to be doing. And, you know, my mom, God bless my mother. She's a 98-year-old woman who just blows my mind all of the time. My mother had a real worry mindset. She was always worrying. And unfortunately, for a great deal of my life as a child, I just remember seeing this worry on her face. And she robbed herself. She robbed herself of a lot of joy 
because she worried. And I understand a mother worries about, you know, is there going to be enough money to feed everyone? I know that she worried about all these different things. She had wild sons that, you know, she worried about. <laughs> she had a lot of people that she loved and she cared about. But that worry mindset was put in her. My grandmother, her mother was a worrier as well. And, you know, I had these two examples. I had the example of worry and I had the example of risk and investment and making things possible. I had the opportunity to choose. And I remember when I was starting my own business and I was really thinking about what this would look like. I remember sitting down and I can still see myself sitting in this, this chair that I used to have and I can see myself really having this conversation and coming to terms with what do I believe? Where am I at? What do I believe is true? And what I believed was true and what I still believe today is that the possibilities are endless, that there is an endless amount of money in the world, that as I grow and as I challenge myself to grow, I can continue to be more and more successful. If you'd have told me <laughs> 30 years ago that I would own a global broadcasting platform where I am meeting people from all over the world, where I would be doing TV and radio and podcasting, and I would have employees, and I would be interacting with some of the most amazing human beings that are so intelligent. I would have said, what are you talking about? I'm, as, I'm just this girl from, you know, four corners don't blink in the country who, you know, I, I, my first job was cleaning houses. I just really, I was really great at cleaning houses. And I honestly thought that's what I would be doing in my life. But I had this knowing that more was possible. And I am willing. I am willing to gamble on me. I am willing to do what it takes to keep taking that step and to keep asking, putting my hand up, being vulnerable and asking for help. If you are in your own business and you're not willing to be vulnerable, you're missing out on the possibilities. You know, we all have been programmed. If you've been in your body for more than 20 years, you've had 20 years of programming, of people being afraid of, you know, the news telling you all the bad news and you should be, you should take care of yourself and you should protect yourself and all these things. I'm not saying, you know, don't drive a car with, with a seatbelt on. I'm not saying don't actually do things that are going to support you. But I am saying that you have to keep stretching. You have to keep growing. And you need to have the mindset of investment. Do you have an investment mindset? Do you have the mindset that what I desire a is possible, and B, if I don't know how to do it, I do know that I can find someone that's likely doing it now that I can get support from. Are you willing to look at the things that you desire as investments, not only in your business, but in you? Are you willing to invest in you? Are you willing to bring yourself to the forefront? And I want you to ask yourself this question. First of all, if you, have you ever been an employee? Have you ever worked for someone else? And have you ever left that job at the end of the day and went, huh, okay, I don't have to worry about that anymore. My day's done, right? That's an employee mindset. If you have your own business, do you have an employee mindset or do you have an in business owner mindset? Who are you in this business? Are you a business owner that you are willing to grow your business and do what it takes to have success and joy with your business? Or are you an employee who just gets up every day and you walk into your maybe your home office or your business wherever you have it and you just put in your eight hours and you go home? If you have an employee mindset and your name is on the business you need to consider either giving that business up or getting a coach who's going to challenge you. You and your business deserve to be successful. 
And if you are in that employee mindset, something must change. Something must change. Because when you are the business owner, you are willing to push yourself. You are willing to do what it takes to be more successful. You are willing to take that extra step at the end of the day. You are willing to reach out and invest not only money, but time and your heart in your business. Everything is risky. It's the way you see things and how you view every single aspect of your business through your eyes of either it being a risk or an investment that will denote the outcome of your business. My friends, we are up to our last break of the show. Oh my God, how did that happen so fast? We're going to go for a quick break. When we get back, I'm going to wrap all of this up. Remember, you can send me an email, christine at inspiredchoices.ca. I'd love to hear from you and what's going on in your business. Stick around, my friends. We'll be right back after this break. Many of us make choices in our lives based on our past experiences or what others believe. What would our lives be like if we made our choices based on what we desire for our futures? When you join Inspired Choices Radio Show with coach Christine McIver, you'll be provoked to look at what is true and what you know but may not choose that requires your attention. Christine does not hold back and brings all her expertise during each and every show. Are you ready to create the life and the living you truly desire? Listen for Inspired Choices Radio Show every Wednesday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 7 p.m. Central, 6 p.m. Mountain, and 5 p.m. Pacific on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. How wonderful would it be to carry your favorite Inspired Choices Network host with you throughout your day? Well, now you can. Inspired Choices Network now has its very own mobile app, Our free app offers live streaming shows, along with thousands of podcasts and TV episodes. Our shows cover a wide variety of topics. Whether you're waking up with us, carrying us through the day, and taking us to bed with you, we're always here for you to enjoy. We're easy to find. Just search for Inspired Choices Network in the Apple App Store or Google Play Store. This is the Inspired Choices Show with coach Christine McIver. To participate in the program, join our live studio audience in our chat room at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com. You can also make the choice to ask or comment by email by sending to christine at inspiredchoices.ca. Now, back to the program. Welcome back, everyone. I am Christine McIver, and tonight we are talking about are you gambling with your business? So if you've just joined the show, please go back and listen to the entirety because it really unfolds and helps you to understand what it is to have a gambling mindset, a fear-based mindset, or an investment mindset. And that is so, so important for everyone, whether you're in your own business or you're working for someone else. Remember that you are the biggest investment you will ever make in your life and in your career or your business. How you have your mind, the way you have your mind set up and the way that your mind is programmed is going to really make a big difference between taking those opportunities, expanding yourself into new choices or holding back and playing small. No, you didn't come here to play small. You came here to have an amazing life. You have one huge opportunity. And if your mindset needs changing, please invest in changing that mindset. It will make all the difference in the world. It is so, so, so important. Remember, the only guarantee is with you that you will have your own back every single day, no matter what is going on. If you want to grow your business, your revenue and your profile in the community, you have to go where you haven't gone before. And that does take risk and investment in yourself. 
taking whatever outcomes occur in your business, not taking them personally, will impact your future choices as either being risk or investment, right? How many people do you know? How many really financially successful public people do you know that have failed, that have invested money and it didn't go in the direction that they wanted to go? Did they stop or did they learn? Did they learn and get support and educate themselves and continue to move forward? That is the difference between someone who have a has an investment mindset or someone that has a fear slash risk mindset. You are gambling with your business, my friends, if you're not willing to invest in you, if you're not willing to do what it takes to stretch yourself, if you're not willing to put yourself out there, are you afraid of what people will say? Is that what's holding you back? Are you afraid of how you're going to appear, of what you're going to say? Are you afraid that people are going to laugh at you? Are you afraid you're not going to grow fast enough? Are you afraid that people are going to ask you questions you don't have the answer to? What are you afraid of? What lie have you bought into that's actually holding you back from investing more in yourself? There's always going to be things that you don't know. There always is. And there's always going to be things that you can grow into. But at the end of the day, you've got to be willing to invest in yourself and in your business and see that whatever you're doing to grow yourself is not a gamble. It's not a gamble. But sitting still and praying that nothing goes wrong, that's the biggest gamble you will ever take in your business and in yourself. Sitting still in 2022, when things are changing so fast all of the time, you are going to get run over and you are going to get be left in the dust. I'm not saying you have to do every single solitary thing. I know lots of people that when I talk about social media, they just like one social media platform. That's not me. I'm willing to grow and I'm willing to be uncomfortable until I understand something. I'm willing to ask questions. And that is how I have grown my business to be successful today. And that's how I support other entrepreneurs and the hosts on this platform to create a global authority, to create a global presence. It's because I've been willing to keep asking questions and learning and getting uncomfortable. It's no different than when you were a child and you started to learn how to walk. If you didn't fall down and get uncomfortable, right? You would never have learned to try again and to take another step and take another step. This is no different. You're, you don't ever stop learning how to take a step. You just don't, especially at this time in the world where things are changing all of the time. Yes, sometimes you want to slow down. That's okay. You can hire people to support you. You can hire people to teach you and to guide you. That's you know, we, we have an amazing reality where we can communicate with people all around the world instantaneously and get support from people that are doing things that we've never even dreamt of, but that look amazing to us. So ask yourself, I want you to ask yourself, am I a risk taker or am I an investor? Do I invest in my own mindset? Do I invest in my own business? Or am I constantly worrying and in fear and feel like I'm gambling with my life or gambling with my business? You have the ability to have either, you have the choice. You always, always have the choice. And I'm telling you, my friends, that if you've, you're listening to this show, you know that I believe in possibilities. And you know that I believe in inspired possibilities and inspired choices. You can have more. You can, but you have to step up to the table and you have to own what's not working for you. You've got to own where you need to grow yourself. You need to own your future and be willing to invest in taking those extra steps. You can do it. You absolutely can.
My friends, again, please reach out Christine at inspiredchoices.ca. I will be back next week with another show. And until then, I want you to remember that you can always make another choice. Every single day, there are endless choices available to you. Keep making inspired choices, my friends. Until next week. Thank you for choosing to listen to Inspired Choices Radio Show. Christine McIver will return next Wednesday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 7 p.m. Central, 6 p.m. Mountain, and 5 p.m. Pacific on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. We hope you'll join us. Until then, be willing to choose what you really desire. This is your life. Making the choices that bring you all that you desire.